In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this. Um, this was a request from someone, uh, and I showed it. I showed some an image like this in my introduction to JX Tutorials 2 video uh, that is on my second channel. So I'm going to show you how to create something like this. So what you, what you want to do is open up a new image, and the first thing I'm going to do to add a nice background is just to grab my gradient tool. You can get that by pressing G, and if you don't have it, then you probably have your paint bucket tool pulled up, so right click on that, and then select gradient tool. Then what you need to do is, um, you can make your background whatever color you want. I'm going to make mine um, a white to gray background, so I'm going to, for my foreground color, I'm going to choose white. And then for my background color, I have it set on a grayish color. And, um... What you want to do is like radial gradient, not linear, which will automatically be on. And then drag from the center out. And then you have a nice background. Then create a new layer by pressing this little icon in your layers window. And then go over and get your pen tool. And make sure it is on um, paths up here. And what you want to do is just click somewhere on your screen, doesn't matter where. Then click again and then click and drag. And then I'm just going to click somewhere again and I'm going to click to close this path and I'm just going to drag it out in a random shape. So, like this. That looks good. Now, what we want to do is right click, oh, is right click and select fill path. Um, I'm going to fill it using black, but you can use whatever, it doesn't really matter because we'll be changing the. Um, We'll be changing the color anyway, and then just keep everything on its default, and then select OK. You can go ahead and delete that path. Um, so now you have this shape. So just double click on that layer to open up your layer styles um, box. So check drop shadow, and um, you can always adjust this later. Uh, so I'm going to adjust that later after I have everything else set in. Um, check gradient overlay, and click on the gradient. And I'm going to change the black to a uh, orange color. And then I'm going to change the white point to a yellowish color. And then just select OK. You can always adjust that color. You can set it from a dark blue to a lighter blue, dark red to a light red, um, you know, whatever color you want. And then check stroke. And I'm going to go with a size of 15. And then under fill type, select gradient. And I'm just going to set this, I'm going to change the white point to a light gray. And then I'm going to change the black point to a medium gray, whatever that's supposed to mean. And select OK. So I'm going to go back to my drop shadow. And um, I set distant, distance at zero. I'm going to uh, put the opacity at 100. And then I'm going to increase the size um, to about 40-ish. Uh, and then I'm going to increase the spread just a little. Uh, now this will, the, the settings will vary uh, depending on the size of your image and how big you made your shape. Um, but you know, this, this is kind of what you want to set in. Um, and then just select OK. Now just repeat this process several times. Uh, make a shape with the pen tool and then uh, go in and edit the layer styles and to make your job quicker you can always save this style so just in your layer styles dialog or window select, select new style and then put in whatever you want to name it as then select it OK and then it should be over here and you can just in your styles window you can just click on that and it'll apply that style to whatever um, layer you have selected so um, for the text you can just type in whatever you want And then, since I have a layer style saved for that, I'm just going to click on that, and it'll apply the same style to the text. But then I can also go in and edit the um, color of the gradient if I want to. And I can just go in and edit it a little. 
So there you go. That's how you can create uh, this nice little gradient um, and shape wallpaper.